Hi guys, uh, today I'll be showing you a quick tip on how to bypass Serum's automation smoothing. So uh, let's say you want to automate a knob in Serum and you want to have really fast transitions. Like you want to do a percussive sound in the timeline here with automation by automating this uh, low pass filter on some wave table. Um, what would happen is that Serum's knobs are actually like smoothened so that to avoid like clicks and pops when you're playing with them. But this can be a problem if you're trying to do like really fast automations as this can like blur out the transients. Uh, here I'll show you an example. So you can see here, these are supposed to be like really fast and sharp transitions. However, um, the sound gets smoothened. So if I did it instead with them, um, if I did it instead with um, an EQ here, You can hear that this is a lot more snappy and actually sounds like a pluck. I even linked this fruity XYZ controller to the, to the filter here so that I can choose how much smoothing it has applied on in real time. So if I put this knob all the way over here, this will be smooth. And the more it goes to the left, the more transient it will be. However, we don't really have this flexibility with serum by default since uh, these knobs are smoothed by default so here i'll remove this and i'll show you like a quick way to like bypass uh, this effect instead of having like um automating cut cutoff directly uh what you could do is uh basically i'll unlink this so tools last week link to controller reset so now this isn't linked to my automation clip anymore and if I go here and I put a fixed uh, with the amount all the way up and the destination, I'll put it on the filter. And now I can automate this since this has no smoothing applied on it. So tools last week, link to controller. I'll put it on my automation. However, it won't be the same since uh, this goes towards um, minus 100% to 100%. So as you can see, it goes way too low. So I can come here back and adjust my min and max values so usually i put it to 50 percent but since this was uh, a bit higher then i'll be a bit higher than 50 percent so as you can see this is a way to bypass it but uh, it's a bit of extra work and can be annoying when you're dealing with macros um, there's another way which will actually uh, remove smoothing on all the knobs but um yeah it will be like permanent for every single knob so um yeah, just be aware. But if you want to change this, um, what you want to be doing instead is uh, go into the config file for Serum. So I'll just remove this again. Um, no, I'll go into config file. I'll, I'll be posting in the description um, where you can find this file uh, on Serum and uh, no, on Windows and Mac. They're both in different places on your hard drive. But uh, basically, you just want to open this file uh, with a a text editor and this will give you like uh, access to more advanced uh, settings for serum and the one you're interested in, in here is um this this one automation smoothing percentage zero equals 100 percent one equal minimum smoothing so you want to go here in the back brackets and change this one to one if you want to remove it completely uh to put it to the minimum amounts and then you want to save this file and then you want to launch serum again so here i'll just reload the project so i'm not saving any changes and this will go back to how it was uh, before, the beginning of the video, when I had this filter being automated. And as you can see, this is just the cutoff now. And I've completely bypassed the smoothing um, for this knob. Now I could like link this this um, this automation to a XYZ and be controlling the smoothing in real time to get just the right amount I want or even automate throughout the track. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this and I hope this will be useful to you. Uh, it's certainly useful to me as I, I'd rather do it in the timeline itself than having to like do a bunch of LFOs or play with the envelopes as I, I really enjoy working with uh, FL Studio's automations as I think they're pretty handy. All right. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this will be useful to you. See you next time.